uh, wait a minute, we'll take writing, we'll take research paper. I will share it with you now. Okay, here is it. Writing a research paper. Okay, we will uh, today take an uh, introduction. Writing a research girls, uh, we can say that it is the most important kind of writings. Do you know why? Hello, do you know why? Why? Why writing a research paper is is very important? Because it will need us. Um, we will need uh, we will need it in uh, to know coaching. things in our jobs and like this. Excellent. To know we need any and understand things. Uh, yes. To know yes, and understand sure. new things. Any college or any university you are going to join in uh, any branch, any uh, anything, you'd be asked to write a research. Okay? Yeah. You'd be asked to study. I, yes, dear? Do I lag? No. A little okay. bit, but it's famous, yes. Let me, let me check uh, that. This is better. This network, this. Hello, do you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. This network is better. OK, so uh, research, you are asked to write research, research all the time. All the time you'll be asked even to study from uh, from online or from books. So it is like also make any uh, preparing a research paper it needs lots of steps which you will use at college. That's why I care a lot about a research paper and how to, to do it and, and this. Before we know how to write it, there are some academic vocabulary which are so related to research paper. OK, so you have to understand them first. So when, when, when it's time to start writing, we understand what are these words. Number one is source. Before, when I was at your age, girls, when we were asked to write a research about uh, any topic, we used to go to the library of the school. So we used to have a library, we used to go there. We open books related to the topic we want to read about or write about, and we start reading, summarizing. Maybe I don't find an answer for my question in book number one, so I go to book number two, then to the third book, then fourth book. The process of searching took lots of time. If, a, if one wants to make masters, one it will take him years to search among books. OK, now nowadays it became so much easier by the uh, searching engines and the um, uh, Wikipedia's and uh, encyclopedias and this. So the source is the book or the online website, or the magazine article, or even a person. You can go to a person who has been there, or a, a, a specialist in the field you want to write a research of, about. So a person who gives information to the writer of a research paper. OK. You, to write a solid research paper, use as many relevant sources as you can find. What is relevant? So if you write about animals, you have to read about animals. OK, relevant to, to, to the topic. If you're writing about weather, you have to read about weather, not reading about animals, so which is relevant. OK, and more specifically, if you will write about a specific animal, you read uh, uh, about specific, um, you read specific articles and so on. OK, are you with me? Yes. These sources, these sources, how can you evaluate your sources? Evaluating a source is very important. Why? Because if you want to write about earthquakes, you will not get your information of an article that has been written by a 13-year-old boy at his school website. 
worldwide? No, you will go and open uh, any geographical or uh, geological uh, website to read about the Earth uh, and the layers of Earth and reasons for earthquake. If you would, write, would like to know about anything in science, you will go and open uh, what specific specific trusted sources what is trusted trusted that you can trust so not anyone says anything i take it and i put it in my research because i have to be sure that these sources are uh, valid valid it means valid like the validity of your id the, it's valid it works and the reliability, what is reliability? Re reliability, it means I can relay, or I can depend on the person who has written this article, on the author who has written this book. I believe him, reliability is, I believe him. I know he is a good author, respected author who has won many uh, prizes before. Validity, it means that the information is still valid. So if I want to read about, um, uh, COVID-19. Yes. So if I were right about uh, what we were we saying, I forgot. Oh, I forgot what I was anyway. Uh, to evaluate a source, first consider its author and the date of its publication. Uh -huh. So the author is a reliability, so I can depend on this author, I trust him. And validity is a uh, date of publication. So if I were want to write, yes, I remember, if I want to write about COVID-19, I will go and open websites that have been created and, and written and published articles that have been published in 2015. Of course not. I have to search for 200, 2021 even, not 2019, because 2019 was the establishment, the beginning of COVID-19. But now the process has uh, evaluated, so we cannot judge it. So in order to judge it, we have to read a refreshed page, refreshed information, which is valid till now, current, relevant, credible, objective way, the information has been written from an objective way, not from an subjective way, reliable, I can rely on the author, trust him, reasonable information, and accurate. So not any source, I do not take my information of any source, I have to evaluate the source well and know its reliability, reliability and validity. Then unbiased. You have to be unbiased in your research. It's not persuasive, I say. I'm not persuading you to change your mind or persuading the reader. I am introducing information. It is 100% formal. The research is 100% formal and it's unbiased. So you do not tend to any side of the, um, of the research. No tendency to believe that some people's ideas or claims are better than others. You are presenting the two ideas. You are presenting the two opinions. You are presenting, if you will talk about one topic, you will talk about the pros and cons equally. You do not take a side. You don't say biased words. So if you would like to talk about raising cats, you do not start writing that you will say uh, the awful or the tremendous uh, ex um, time that the ha that one can spend with cats, because here you are biased. You do not like cats, so you said that it's not a good time, not a good uh, time to spend with cat, not a good uh, experiment, not a good uh, try. Which is loaded words? Do, do not use loaded words. What's loaded words? When you say what you want in a word. As we can, as I say now, tremendous time spending with cat. Okay. Are you with me? So in research paper, you are unbiased. You do not take a side of any of the topic. Citation. 
in a research because research depends on sources. It depends on sources, so you have to cite from where did you get your information? From where did you get them? You have to cite it. You have to say if it's quote, if it's a quote between two quotation and said by Rosa Parks, 1979. Citation is very important because citation makes you avoid plagiarism. Plagiarism is when you go and steal someone's ideas and without giving credit to him. In many colleges, committing plagiarism result is a, in an automatic, a, a, automatic failure of the course. If in college they found out that you have stolen any part of someone's works or ideas, okay, you would face that you can fail the year. Okay? Let me tell you a story. Hello. Are you awake? Hello? Hello? Okay, Sham. Sham, the first period, Sham, where were you? I called your name many times, but you didn't answer. Yeah, I number 12, بس لما بدي أعمل بدي أحل أجاوب خليتي تي أجاوب كان عم معلق عندي عم عليه وما عم يطلع عني يوت. Okay because I didn't hear you. Okay دي. كنت عم تقولي لي أحل صح؟ Yes I was I I called your name to answer. Okay okay شام. Girls are you with me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you a story. Once there was um, a, a man who took a poem from another man. Uh, he, he was an, uh, a poet, and this, you know, they were poets. Okay. And a man, uh, one of the poets, he stole a poem of an Iraqi poem. The other man was from Iraq. Okay. So he stole his poem. He was here in, in, in Egypt and he stole the poem of that man. And then after like 15 years, there was a conference for a poet, for poem, and there were lots of poets there in, uh, I think, Kuwait or uh, one of the Arab uh, countries. I don't remember. I think Kuwait, yes. And then, okay. The, they called the the one that has written this poem, not the any, the one that stole the poem, and he they start to show it on the screen, and suddenly a man of the crowd said, "This is my poem." It happened that the two men were sitting next to each other, the one that has stolen the poem and the original author of the poem. And it was a scandal. You understand, girls, what happened? Yeah. yeah. So he did stole he get it. His poem back? Yes. Did he get his poem back? Yes, of course he got it back. It was published in his book. Actually, it was stolen 15 years ago. But because from he is from another country, so who will know? Huh? You, who will know? But look at that. After 15 years, all of them were gathered in one conference and it was discovered. It was a scandal and the first one who has stolen the poem never showed up again in any of conferences of, or any of uh, gathering for the poets. See how life is very small? Or the word is very small? So plagiarism is very dangerous, and you know even on YouTube, when uh, when we play, it is it's even called copyright. If you watch the videos that we watch together, that sometimes I play for you some um, some small videos or anything, they are cut. When I upload it on YouTube, YouTube refuses to download them, to upload them, and uh, he cuts it because it, it is copyright. Uh, the movie that we watched on uh, on Sunday, the word of the words. You know why it was speeded? Do you know why? Yeah. 
so the YouTube will not know because it, يعني it is um, when you upload something there is there is a way they discover that you stole a movie and you upload it which is uh, prohibited so when you speed it YouTube doesn't read the same the same coding yes so they do not cancel it yeah. That's, you on, that's why you cannot find um, you cannot find movies on YouTube because when if you upload any stolen movie because it has copyright, if you upload any stolen movie, it will be uh, cancelled, deleted. When Maybe I upload, the, uh, yeah, when I upload, song, for, it's yeah. not speeded. If uh, they will copyright you. Yes, when I upload for you videos, you will find it uh, trimmed, cut without the uh, sounds because of the copyright so actually they care a lot about this plagiarism so you have to be aware of plagiarism when you go to uh, your universities you have to be very aware of uh, this course especially if you're gonna join any um, a foreign uh, university or in, in turkey or in um, abroad yeah. Those who are planning to travel abroad, and even in, in, in our Arabic universities, plagiarism is very uh, prohibited, it's dangerously prohibited, okay? So, when we uh, cite, citation, if we wa really want to take uh, parts of our research from internet, we have to cite it in order to avoid plagiarism. We go then to thesis statement. Thesis statement is the most important sentence in my writing that states the main idea of the research, my claim, what I want to say. Of course, without mentioning myself, without mentioning I. Carol used her thesis statement as the last sentence in her opening paragraph, and it can also be in the beginning of the introductory, introductory paragraph or opening paragraph. It's okay. So we took the source, how to evaluate the source, be unbiased, cite in order to avoid plagiarism, the thesis statement, and then we go to revise. Revise is to receive your piece of writing and make editorial changes, edit it, to improve its quality. Sharing your writing with another person, remember when we used to switch your copy books with your friend? in order to give you another look, a second look, a second eye to your writing, okay? Then proofread. Proofread and editing tips. When I proofread, it's the, uh, it is to check every little word in our, my essay. He says to you that when proofreading, it's best to read your work aloud. Read it aloud if you are reading, as if you are reading it as a presentation to everyone at school, as if you are on theater. Treat writing seriously, girls. I, I told you before, as an English teacher, my mission is to make you read in order to write. I give you grammar to help you to write. We read, we take literature so you can analyze, so you can write. You take vocabulary to enrich your writing. My, my only mission is to make you write. This is what is English about, girls, to write. Not to do anything but to write. So please treat writing, okay, seriously. You will need it a lot. Especially if you joined any uh, university that recommends or asks you to write a lot. Okay, when proofreading, it is best to read your work aloud. This is one, oh, girls, you see now those, uh, even, even uh, the very simple jobs like those bloggers, why you feel that they are superficial or shallow? They don't have things to talk about. Why? They don't have the quality of writing because you say what you read. They write, you know, they prepare what they are going to say. So preparing is writing, editing. So you, when you organize your ideas, when you know how to write, when you know how, how to say this part, how to say, how to convince others, how to use transitions, these are very important. 
given presentations. If you will be an accountant, you will be give a presentation. Giving a presentation is, is, needs lots of research work. When proofreading, it's best to read your work aloud. This is one of the best ways to catch errors and awkwardness. Pronounce each word slowly for maximum effectiveness. Do not rush through proofreading. It's a necessary part of the writing process. It's necessary to review your work more than once before you send it out to publish it online or publish it online. You should edit until it reads smoothly and the work should be proofread three times or more. I just don't try to get rid of the writing essay and send it. Of course, you want to get rid of your writing essay and get the mark and this, but actually it will it benefits you in your life. If you are pressed for time, at the very least, proof, proofread until you do not see any more errors. Consider reading the work backwards so you can check for context and examine each piece of it separately. Proofread is to identify incorrect mistakes in grammar, in usage, in mechanic, mechanics, the dot, the punctuation, the quotation, citation. OK, there was something transition. We took transition. Ah, transition was in the page, sorry. OK, so here, in order to write a research paper writing, and as I told you, because research paper writing is the most important kind of writing, so you'll find lots of ideas and the graphic organizers on, uh, on the Internet. First, I select a topic. After I select the topic, I identify the research problem. What exactly would I talk about to narrow or limit my uh, choices? Then I collect relevant data. Data should be relevant, connected together. Analyze that data. I analyze the data. Then I write the research paper. Then I proofread and improve it. Again, choose a topic, relevant information, the thesis statement, organize new sense, start writing. Then I revise that I create an outline and start. Here are some tips for writing it. Use a unique style of writing. Use enriched vocabulary. Use Vary your sentences, simple, compound, and complex. Vary the length of your sentences. Vary clauses. Use transitions to move smoothly from a paragraph to another. Have a clear understanding of the contents. You have to show that you have really understood the topic. Read deeply. Read deeply about the topic before you start writing it. So you show in your writings that you understand the topic well. You don't get lost and you don't get your reader to feel lost. The writing should be simple. Avoid unnecessary jargons, jargons, unnecessary words, expressions, unnecessary expressions. Develop in-depth knowledge of the subject. Again, we said we read a lot about it in order to get to know it all. Use innovation ideas and ways to justify the research work. Innovative ideas. New ideas. Explain different scientific terminologies and provide a track of bibliography. If you write about the scientific terms, you have to sh tell its meanings. If you, for example, uh, the coronavirus of the COVID-19, you have to tell what is the meaning of virus, what is the definition of this one, what are the symptoms, what is the meaning of symptoms for a simple reader who doesn't know these meanings. To strictly follow at the specification of the approving of publishing authority, the specification of uh, approving of publishing authority, when I want to publish, you have to follow all the rules of publishing authority. Through proofread, proofread again. What is proofreading? Proofreading is to revise. Revise again many times from top to bottom of the research paper. OK? OK, I feel like you slept. Sources, evaluate sources. Unbiased, be unbiased. Okay, be unbiased. 
You have to cite from where did you bring your information, citation, thesis statement, plagiarism, never steal information, and revise proofread. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay. Did you understand the introduction of the academic vocabulary? Yes. Okay. Yes. Any questions? No. Yeah. We still have yes. five minutes. You huh? must receive my writing. I submitted it yesterday. I will check. Uh, the due date has finished, okay, girls, the cutoff date. No, tomorrow. I give you tomorrow. Miss, you're lagging. Miss Nada, you're lagging. Okay. So, so we can't hear you. Miss, it's lagging. Submit. Teacher, we can't hear you. Ms. Nada, we can't hear you. Teacher, we can't hear any single word, so yeah. Okay, so try to submit to writing, girls. Miss I have a question. Yes. 